Hello, today I will be talking about the poem Medusa written by Carol and Duffy. Uh, let's start with our poem. Yes, here you can see my content. Uh, firstly, I will give brief information about uh, Carol and Duffy, and then I will go on with the background or uh, background story of Medusa, and I will be talking about the main topic of mine, the victimized Medusa, and then I will be going on with the psychological analysis and I will end my uh, presentation with the discussion questions. So let's start with Carolyn Duffy. Carolyn Duffy is a British um, poet and playwright who was born in 1955. For this poem, the trait um, of her being um, feminist, it's a very important uh, part here because um, her um, point of view caused her to write this um, poem. She tried to be the voice of women who were oppressed, who were silent in history. As you can understand from her quotation here, it is always good when women being things in fiction because it tends to be more male dominated, unlike poetry, which is more equal. Uh, we can understand that she tries to highlight this part. I mean, yes, Medusa was seen as something, uh, someone bad, but why? Why is she bad? We will be uh, exploring these reasons through this um, presentation. As you can understand the, po the poem, she feels very angry, but why? Um, because she is turned into a monster and she didn't want to want to be a monster she had to because um she was destroyed and she starts to she started to destroy everything around her because of that because her love gone bad and shoved her gorgon and gorgon um, is a very hideous female creature in greek mythology as you can understand she becomes very hideous while she was a very beautiful young woman because of cruel acts of the Poseidon. Uh, um, let me talk about the story of Medusa. She was um, raped by Poseidon in the temple of Athena. In the, and in the end, Medusa was the one to blame because of the sexual inter intercourse. And she is seen uh, as the reason of this sin. We can see the male dominance clearly here in this part, especially. She was supposed to be a virgin, but she was raped by Poseidon. And then Athena cursed her, unfortunately. But why Medusa was the one to be cursed instead of Poseidon? Also, even um, Medusa wanted to have a um, sexual intercourse. Why Poseidon is not being punished too? punish either he is not virgin too and even in the movies i think that she is being demonized i mean she is being reflected as a bad person like i remember that in the movies that i have watched in the um tv she always being reflected as the monster as the bad person but her love gone bad and that was the reason that she was so angry she was so um cruel maybe and here you can um see in the um poem that be terrified it's you i love i love she accepts accepts that she is in love with him but also with time she realizes that she is not the victim maybe even she blamed herself and she tried to oppress the feelings of her which tries to go to the surf surface but then with time she tries to accept that because they become much more um visible and then uh, visible because they turn into snakes on her head greek god my own but i know you will go betray me stray from home so better be for me if you were stoned um she realizes the power that she has you can understand this 
this stanza here. So better B for me if you were stoned. I think that she um, ventures to make him a stone here. Like she wants to get revenge for what he had done to her. And also she's aware of that. Um, her love is not so important for him. She only, he only seeks for um, like other girls. It's just a game for him. And I think that here, um, she doesn't want to um, let it happen again. She doesn't want him to win again. And also she's aware that he comes with a shield for a heart to protect his honor rather than love her. And I think that it is very sad. And in the end, she says that, look at me now. She um, forced him to face with her. She um, dares to say this to him and confront his, his crime because he doesn't accept that he is the one to be blamed here rather than she, he says that this is the sin caused by her. She attracted me, like, but this is not the truth, to be honest. And the psychological analysis, I think that she tried to create an innocent person um, to hide her shadow side. Yes, I think that, like, a, she was trying to play the bride, but then after being raped by Poseidon, she couldn't um, have this role anymore. I think the society put women some kind of role that and oppressed them, their instincts and needs. As these are being oppressed, the shadow side becomes stronger, like in this, um, in this part, you can see a suspicion, a doubt, a jealousy growing in my mind because all these feelings are um, are seen as something bad. And then uh, with time, it becomes visible, which turned the hairs on my head to feel the snakes as though my thoughts hissed and spat on my scalp. You can see that her oppressed feelings occur and she accepts them like she accepts her shadow side, her personal bride, the virgin becomes, um, the, this person falls apart. And with time she um, accepts what she is actually, rather than being the bride, rather than being the virgin. And um, as I remember at first, she just glances and now she is, even brave to say that the words, look at me. She is not ashamed. And with time, she um, becomes much more aware that she is not one to blame. Yes, but uh, the victim here, yes. Uh, um, and actually she, real, uh, she turns this pain into power and then she becomes much more powerful. And here you can see my discussion questions. Uh, I stared in the mirror. Was it a confrontation with herself or an attempt of suicide? It is known that Medusa has the power to kill people by just looking at them. So could she kill herself too? I think that um, it may be some kind of a suicide here. Maybe she just she just felt angry even to herself that she um, believed that she was the one to blame. Maybe that was the reason, but also it may be a confrontation too. Uh, what does she want to do him um, by saying, look at me now? Does she want him to die or just a confrontation too, like in the staring in the mirror? And the shield for heart. In the mythology, we know that Medusa is killed by a sword and a shield, uh, which is gifted by um, Athena and H Hermes to Perseus to kill her. But in the poem, she's talking talking to his lover. What does she want to mean with, with the shield for a heart and the sword for a tongue? And this is the end of my presentation. I really like this um, poem and also its message and Carol and Dovia, because I think that this is a very important um, topic 
to be discussed, to be heard by other people. Male dominance may break people into, may, may <laughs> people really uh, put in the positions that they do not deserve. So I think that it's really important um, topic to be talked, talked. Um, thank you for your listening and it's the end of my presentation. Have a nice day.